The nine day festival of Sharan Navaratri is marked by prayer, festivity and celebration for a majority of Indians. This festival is also called Dasara or Dasharatri since the 10th day known as Vijayadashmi hails the victory of virtue over vice and of positivity over negativity. In some parts of India, it is associated with the death of Ravan at the hands of Ram. Navaratri prayers seek to reinforce the spiritual strength latent in human beings. Blessings from the Almighty are sought to help human beings tap their potential and develop greater capacity to deal with the challenges which life brings. Let us pray together in the spirit of Navaratri for the dreadful pandemic COVID-19 to be quelled forever. In many regions of India, Sharan Navaratri is celebrated as Devi Navaratri. Devi is also equated with the sun, who is the principal source of heat and light. In the Vedas, Devi is equated with fire or Agni. She is visualized as one who combines in herself the luster of the entire galaxy of stars and the power of all the planets. She is armed with every mighty weapon. In this form, she is addressed as Durga. And so, Navaratri is also called Durga Puja. Devi Bhagavati embodies energy and is capable of both creation and annihilation. I present a dance based on Vyasa's Bhagavati Stuti, which was tuned many years ago by Srimati Visarana Rao, my late mother. The vocal rendering is by Srimati Vidya Srinivasan. Presenting Bhagavati Stuti in this episode of Navaratri Nritya Nirajana.
जय चंद्र दिवाकर नेत्र धरे जय पावक भूषित वस्त्र भरे जय भई